had moved back from that building before which you were about to see again here on videotape knowing that fire could not be fought because of the instability of the structure because of the the fire that had burned since shortly after nine o'clock this morning Dana Tyler is joining us in the information center she has some uh, new information for us Rick used time-lapse mode to conserve tape, so two seconds of real-time recording is followed by a six-second pause. The first footage is shortened and speeded up to get straight to the collapse. Here's an update now from the 1010 Winds Newsroom. Later tonight, we expect to hear from President Bush. This was also, that plane was to be used, and here's Matt Ward. Major difficulties around the area. New Jersey Transit outbound yeah, Holbrook and Terminal yeah, operating yeah, on a load-and-go yeah, basis. No inbound service. And also out of Newark's Penn Station, limited service on the Northeast Corridor and North Jersey uh, Coast Lines and the Raritan Line of 10 minutes reporter Eileen LaBombe. Eileen. All right, Ralph, I'm here on Hudson Street. As, you, as you've been hearing, that 7 World Trade Center just collapsed about five minutes ago. Suddenly we saw officers, all oh, tons and tons of, uh, maybe 100 officers, police officers, running north, running along Hudson Street, telling people to move, get out of the way. Then you look at the smoke was billowing north, and people were running. I'm here with an emergency worker. He's a first-year NYU medical student. He was down there. He was trying to help people. His name is Daryl. Yeah, um, so I was just standing there, uh, you know, we were watching the building actually because it was on fire, the, uh, the bottom floors of the, the building were on fire and, uh, you know, we heard this, this sound, this sounded like a clap of thunder, turned around, we were shocked to see that the building was, uh, uh, well, it looked like there was um, a shock wave uh, ripping through the building and the windows all uh, busted out and, you know, it was, it was horrifying. And then, uh, you know, about a second later, the bottom floor caves out and uh, the building followed after that and, um, we saw the building crash down all the way to the ground. Um, you know, we were in shock. And then, uh, then the, the worst part about it, we saw the, the smoke and the plumes of smoke coming after us, and we had to run. Uh, we had to run north, actually, on um, on that street. We just ran north. And, and we went to uh, Weehawken and hopped on a ferry uh, and came up over, and, and uh, we got about halfway across the Hudson River, and they announced that they were turning around and coming back. But they, uh, and told not to come into the city, uh, at which point we came back and tried to, uh, and so finally successfully uh, found a uh, boat owner to uh, haul uh, our you know, five uh, UPN 9 crews here, or reporters and photographers here. Our nation is being tested, and we will pass this test. Uh, we mentioned earlier, too, the planes that were down for two believed to be American Airlines. American is now questioning whether one of them was indeed theirs. The other two United Airlines jets that also went down starting this morning at 8.45 hours ago. We're looking at a live picture from Jersey City area toward lower Manhattan and you're looking where the World Trade Centers used to be. Now on top of those World Trade Centers when they were there were the broadcast towers for most of the broadcast uh, entities uh, in the New York uh, area. So most of you in America who will be watching us now are watching on various cable systems. Comcast cable certainly, uh, Dish Network, Direct TV. So we are at UPN 9 News in New York. Uh, like, and Rob Morrison was downtown Lower Manhattan when World Trade Center Tower 7 went down. Rob? Okay, Jim, uh, you were asking for that tape. We have it in our truck, so we're going to do what's called a hot roll here. There might be a glitch or two on the air, but we're going to roll that tape for you. This is World Trade Number 7 collapsing just a f about 15, 20 minutes ago. What happened with World Trade Center Number 7 was that it was compromised earlier in the day when the first tower went down. That was the second collapse, which is to say Tower Number 1. When that went down, it toppled into Number 7. A fire started burning at that point, and it burned for a good portion of the day. That was the uh, thick smoke that you saw coming out of that building most of the day. 
The structure was so compromised, firefighters and us, other rescue personnel were unable to get near that building. And as we were standing here reporting throughout the day, we saw that building, number seven, start to tilt more and more to the south. And then finally, about 15 or 20 minutes ago, as you just saw there, it toppled another victim of uh, terrorism, as we've been reporting. Now, as that smoke just about continues to clear up there, we're told that farther, a little bit farther down West Street, we're on West Street right now, and it's really tough to see through all the emergency personnel and all the smoke and the debris that's flying through the air, but we're told that there is another smaller building down there. I'm not sure which building it is, but it's definitely a smaller building. And right now we're told that that building is compromised as well, and that building might topple down.